high school volleyball season is officially underway. Most area teams began competition Tuesday afternoon, specifically with non-conference games, but some teams, like Medina Valley, waited until Wednesday to kick things off. That afternoon, the Panthers hosted Bandera and Providence for a triangular and swept both of their matches en route to a perfect 2-0 start. They've since cooled off a bit, losing four of their last five to sit at 4-4 four and four after the first week of play, but all four of those losses have come against 5A and 6A teams. The biggest positive for this year's Medina Valley team, though, is their experience. The Panthers returned seven seniors from last year's roster, and they look primed to do some real damage throughout the 2019 season. We are going into a tougher preseason this year to help us on district and hopefully playoffs and afterwards. So I think facing that situation early on now is really going to help us. We only had really two a day, two two a days this year, which is not as much as we've had in the past. So I think we made a bunch of progress with all the time that we've been giving, and it's a lot of returners. So we've played a lot, and the chemistry is really well. So I think we we'll really can only go up from here. All right, next up, the Panthers will travel to Bernie to face Blanco and the Greyhounds in another triangular on Tuesday. In 5A play, Harlandale opened their season with three straight wins, including a sweep of the near on Tuesday. The Indians then took part in the Harlandale ISD tournament on Saturday, but lost both of their matches to Jefferson and Holmes. They'll next take the court Tuesday night against Holy Cross. At the 6A level, Warren rebounded quickly after an opening season loss to Reagan on Tuesday. The Warriors dismantled East Central in a convincing sweep and now sit at 5-3 and three on the season. Warren is another team with a strong senior class, all told 10 seniors are on the current roster, including standouts Nina Ledesma and Nia Spearman. Last season, the Warriors returned to the playoffs for the first time in five years. Now the question is, can they advance farther than the bi-district round? I think that we know what we're capable of, so I don't think there's any extra pressure. I just think that right now it's just our time to show out, like senior year, you know, and just kind of get everybody on the same page. Warren used to be on the map, and that's we're going to get right back on the map where we were. We're a team. We all got to stick together. Like, we just got a new coach this year. So us really being together now is whenever it matters the most. And going into this new season, like, just continue to play together and be together because we win as a team, we lose as a team. Everything is as a team, so, yeah. Warren will face Johnson at Northside Sports Gym on Tuesday night, and you can expect the Clark Cougars to be in the running for the top spot in Class 6A once again. Even after losing Baylor commit Kara McGee to graduation, the defending District 28-6A champions have raced out to a 6-2 start.